lovely people how are you doing i hope you're doing beautiful well wherever you are welcome back to my channel my name is Sinaza, and this channel i discuss on tips that will help you enhance your lifestyle as an individual i also discuss on jammy residency information and i give counseling for education today we'll be discussing our strategies that will help manage anxiety but before we go into what we have for today i want to say a very big thank you to all my returning subscribers thank you for always making our time to watch my videos thank you for your comments in the comment section they are so encouraging and if you have not subscribed to my channel maybe this is your first time watching my video you want to get tips on how to enhance your lifestyle you want to get information concerning germany residency and you want to get counseling concerning education please do well to subscribe to my channel it's so easy just hit on the red subscribe button down below and also turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. Let's go into what we have for today. Anxiety is simply characterized by excessive worry and fear. This leaves an individual feeling anxious and moody. There are a lot of things that could contribute to anxiety. They include watching the news, getting yourself updated with what's happening around the world, Comparing yourself to others, lack of sleep, consuming a lot of caffeine, not getting enough fluid, that is not getting yourself hydrated, you're not consuming fluid. These fluids could include teas, smoothies, you can get this from all sources, even natural water. All of these that we've mentioned could even make anxiety worse. The first strategy that can help manage anxiety is keeping yourself away from technology, keeping yourself away from what's happening around the world. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't get yourself updated, but once in a while, it is necessary to keep those things aside, focus on the future, because they, on their own, help build up so much worry. It help build up fear in a person. So once in a while, keep those things down, manage your surroundings, manage your family, manage the recent happening around you and work with this. Not minding what's happening, which could build fear in you, causing you to be thinking negatively. Maybe this could also happen in my environment. Maybe this could also happen to me. Who knows if this is going to happen to me in the nearest future. This news that we get from all sources around can help intensify this anxiety in us. A strategy that can help manage anxiety is to engage in something pleasurable. There are a lot of things that you take pleasure in doing. These things could include your hobby. Maybe you like drawing in your free time. Maybe you like singing. You could also like painting. Or you can also like to listen to music. This could also help to relax you, relax your entire being whenever you feel anxious or worried about something. Just get yourself busy, get your mind busy with something that gives you pleasure. And keep your mind totally away from this thing that makes you feel anxious and worried. The important thing is to accept that you are anxious. Do not try to hide this or push this aside casually. Accept that you are anxious over something. Write down this thing. Write down how to tackle or solve these things. Develop skills gradually that will help you manage this thing on a regular basis. Trying to pretend that you are not anxious, trying to hide it, trying to push it aside casually will not solve the problem. But facing this, writing it down, finding ways to solve it or handle it will all go a long way to help manage this feeling of anxiety or worry. You could also talk to someone about your anxiety. This could be a friend, someone that you trust, a related fellow, someone very close to you who you trust will always give you the right advice. Talk to that individual of how you're feeling. Talk to that individual concerning your worries. Let that individual see things through with you and help you find better ways to manage this another good strategy is to involve in healthy physical activities this includes sports this will also include yoga it could also include meditation relaxations these are all going to help take your mind away from all of these troubles that worry you help you relax your muscles relax your mind relax your entire being the main Thing and the main strategy that helps to manage anxiety totally is to keep that mind busy. Keep that mind where the thoughts of worry and fear come from busy by doing something positive, something that makes you happy, something that engages you with joy in your heart, giving you the ability to produce better thoughts, considering what you have around, working with the environment and not always picking things from imaginary thoughts and considering them to happen around you when they have not even happened yet. So engaging in physical activities will help keep 
your entire being healthy and busy and relaxed. Another good strategy is to focus on the now. Sometimes anxiety arises when we begin to worry about the future. The future that has planned for itself, you have started making unnecessary worry concerning it. You are worried that it's going to, not going to work out well. You're worried, and you're using the present situation to compare the future, and you're concerned that things are not going to work out well, maybe from what you've heard happen to someone else or happening in another environment. These are all going to help build worry, build fear, build anxiety, trigger these things to the point where you begin to panic. So work on what is on ground. Work on what is happening now. Forget about the future. Stop thoughts that trigger this fear and anxiety in you. Thoughts that begin to give you wrong imaginations of things that are not even yet happened. Use what you have on ground. Work with the present condition. Enjoy what you have and don't worry about the future. The future has a to take care of itself, especially when you work towards making it better in the now. Another step that will help is for you to reduce the amount of caffeine that you consume. Caffeine could be found in drinks like energy drinks. These things are all going to enhance this anxiety. You may think that things like alcohol, when you take them in such a quantity, you begin to forget your worries and all that. But when they are cleared from your eyes, you also will return to the normal state where you remember this. The main thing is not to try a temporary solution, but to make a permanent skill that will help remove this entirely in your life. So working on yourself, focusing on the now, challenging yourself to think the right thoughts, stopping those imagery, stopping those negative imagery in your mind, will all help you to manage anxiety. You may notice that sometimes we are always busy with attending to this or that, to other people around us, to the things that we think are important. But once in a while, it is necessary to take a break, take care of yourself, do personal care, do those things that are needed for yourself. This it could include taking a bath, relaxation, meditation, some mindfulness that could involve deep breathing take care of yourself if you're a woman for example do those things that will make you happy and look good for yourself you could attend to your hair you could attend to your skin you could rearrange your wardrobe clean up things see things that you have achieved in a long while go through your happy journal look at your achievements Take care of your family, take some break, relax. You are always busy attending to things that pertain to others. Sometimes it is good to take a break and take care of yourself. And relax as much as you can to be able to ease off those worries and fears. Another thing to consider is to ensure that you are getting enough sleep. Most times we have a long day and we also go to bed late. If not get enough sleep, we wake up so much early the next day to go to work or to attend to our daily activities. It's depriving yourself of the normal or right quantity of sleep that you need as an adult, you need about seven to eight hours of sleep. When you do not get this on a regular basis, they all continue. You always get four, five, six, and at the end of the day, you begin to feel headache. You don't feel your inner balance the way it should be. You feel weak and all that. You begin to worry that there's something somewhere disturbing you from somewhere. Maybe you could be sick. Maybe something is coming up. You are just anxious. Just getting the right quantity of sleep that you need could all be the solution that you need. So take care of yourself. Also involve getting the right quantity of sleep that you need. Putting things aside. Always remember that you cannot attend to everything in a day. There is always the next day as the Lord permits. You also meet the next day. So attend to what you can in a day and let the others sit for the next day, especially if they are not necessary or important. Carrying everything together in a day, you must achieve everything. The day is meant for walking and the night particularly for resting. If you can and if your work permits this, you must have adequate rest to have a healthy you and to be able to function normally the days to come. Depriving yourself of simple as it is, sleep could help leave you feeling weird, clumsy, not arranged or connected. You begin to wonder if something is coming from somewhere. Just having this sleep 
or short naps in the day or 20 30 minutes is what you need to feel all right you could also decide to reduce stress what are the things that are causing you stress how can you identify these things find any alternative ways to manage and to handle these situations a lot of things that you need to help you manage this anxiety I have a video for stress, how to manage stress, techniques, and how to identify the stress. I'll be leaving a link to these two videos down in the description box. So you can check it out and get tips on how to manage stress that we've all faced as an individual on a daily basis. Because stress is a necessary part of existence. There are things that we do not plan that come up on a daily basis. These are all simple stress. These are all stress. The next thing to do is to manage your time well. When you do not manage your time well on a daily basis, you start off late, you end your day also late, and you go through what you've achieved for the day. It seems like you've not achieved enough for what you want to achieve. These are all going to leave you feeling worried, anxious, you're not being effective, you're not getting things done the right way. By writing out your plans for the day, arranging them in order of priority, setting time for each if you can, Avoiding procrastination, these are all things that I discussed also in a video I titled How to Have a Few Few Day. I will also be leaving the link to that video in the description box so you can check it out. So, if we do not manage your day effectively, the time you have in a day, if you don't manage them well, you could all be stressed out trying to put things in order because you are not working with a certain plan, a certain tax routine. These are all things that help you enhance your daily activities, live above stress and anxiety. The last thing that we have for today is that you can also seek for help. Do not be afraid to seek for professional help when there is a need for so. Sometimes what we see as a normal state of mind or health has gone beyond the normal. In some parts of the world, people do not recognize that they need to seek for professional help until things go beyond their ability. So seeking for professional help when there is a need to do so, building a mental health support is necessary. If you think that you can no longer handle this alone, this is a necessary step to do to or be able to live your days happily, live without anxiety, live without worry, being afraid of the future and the now, being moody. So Carrying out all the steps that we've mentioned today, carrying this out on daily basis, using this strategy to manage your daily activities can help you live without stress, without anxiety, without worry and fear. That will be all for now. I hope this video is beneficial to you. And if you find value in this video, please do well to give it a thumbs up. Also share this video with your loved ones so that each and every one of them can benefit from these strategies and help themselves manage anxiety. Do not forget to comment in the comment section. Leave a comment down below. Are these tips helpful? Have you been able to use each or one of them to manage your anxiety in a way? And if you have not subscribed to my channel, maybe this is your first time watching my video like I said earlier on, do not forget to click the red subscription button down below and support what I do here. Also, turn the notification bell on so you're notified anytime I post any video. I normally post every Mondays and Thursdays. That will be all for now, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.